Everybody in YouTube land, this is Michael Zingar from the 28mm Sci-Fi Show. And uh, today I want to do a video response to a video I saw. It was entitled, uh, Why Are War Game? And the guy uh, who puts out the video, his uh, channel is uh, Leon T66. And uh, he does some pretty cool historical stuff. I'm not really into historical. Um, I do like historical what if things like putting armies that uh, would never meet each other on the field or for some reason or another they don't war together. And um, then I like to see battles like that. Not that I don't like historical uh, and history and stuff like that, but you know, it's not my cup of tea. I like hard science fiction. All right, to the matter at hand, why a war game? Um, basically, I think a lot of guys should do a channel. I think the community should grow. I think uh, you'd be surprised what people are interested in. I think that uh, my main thing is to, I'm sure there's a shitload of guys like me that are sitting on tons of miniatures that don't go to games. Uh, that are alive anymore and this channel's mission is to uh, show people how to uh, game uh, and have a good time uh, with generic rules and not have to throw thousands of dollars into an army and uh, you know war gaming concepts and ideas and stuff like that because uh, you know these guys can only publish so much in a book at a time and uh, a lot of my best experiences have been with uh, home brewed rules that uh, friends have thought up or I've thought up or it's been a group activity. And I want to show the joys of uh, you know, figuring out your own fluff, putting together your own army list, trying out different games. And, you know, with the homebrew rules, if you got five or six games you'd like, take the... Uh, things that you like from each game and try to incorporate it into one system, you know? Um, like, you know, you bought this stuff, you can do with it whatever you want. Just write this stuff down and um, that way you can hand it to your buddies and they're all on the same page and they think some stuff's bogus, they'll tell you. So, and the thing is too, miniature wargaming has been in and out of my life since I was a young, young kid. Uh, first game convention I ever went to, I think I was like 11 years old. It was at the Wagon Wheel Resort up in, uh, I think it was Wisconsin, or pretty damn close to Wisconsin. And uh, it, it, it was so long ago, people were playing uh, war game Petal Throne. So by Mara Barker, a few early old, old ass school people do that. And, you know, the area that I lived in, Rockford, it was kind of a working class town, so people weren't running out and buying first edition or second or third or fourth edition of rules. They basically bought the one set and stuck to it. Um, so I got to see a lot of things that I probably would shouldn't have been able to see, but people were still doing it. Like, I've seen chain mail battles. I played... Warhammer with the white box rules. Um, I remember that box of um, army lists that came out from Warhammer Fantasy. You know, because first there was a, a white box with a, a, a knight guy smashing an undead guy with a, a big uh, mace, I believe, was on the cover. And then the army list cover was... Uh, skeletons fighting something but anyways um so the passion's always been there i haven't held on to a lot of my miniatures but there's quite a bit that i have um with the tragedy and the uh stuff that was going on in my life uh i did have to sell my painted armies because you know shit i gotta take care of the family and uh make sure we don't end up homeless it takes a while to get that uh insurance and lawsuits and everything to get done and over with it almost broke me 
So, uh, you know, that's uh, why I got it. That's why I do a channel. That's why I'm working. I love all parts of the hobby. I'm not really looking forward to doing any painting videos because uh, I'm tense enough when I paint sometimes. I gotta walk away with it. It really depends on the models. Some models are a joy to paint, but sometimes I'm figuring out the color scheme as I paint, you know? And sometimes that shit goes wrong, <laughs> really wrong. And uh, I just can't see myself doing that on video. Um, now, news for the channel. Uh, basically, I went way over budget. I tried to spend no more than $200 a month on the hobby, and uh, that supplies minis, paint, the whole nine yards. So, um, you know, if you really think about what you spend on this shit, the stuff adds up. But uh, I went over, I think I spent 280 and uh, let me get the list of uh, what's coming up. Sorry about the dead space, guys. All right, so uh, last night and uh, this afternoon, <coughs> excuse me, this afternoon, I'm going to spend time finished building all that uh, uh, 15 mil stuff I got from uh, Alternative Armies. Basically, so that was like the troops, light vehicles, light tanks gun emplacements and stuff like that. Uh, some of the gun emplacements I'm going to hold back on because uh, I got grab platforms and try platforms coming for them. So uh, those I'm going to put on hold. But uh, in three to f six days, I believe the shipping thing said, um, I'm going to get a box of stuff. So we're looking at uh, some of these. I'm not going to name because I don't want it to be a surprise. But we're looking at one mech. Oh, and uh, for the Horizon Wars project, I'm going to start showing you guys how to do it in 6mm because I feel that's how most of you are going to play it because uh, it's fast for me to get my 6mm stuff built. 15mm, um, I want to spend a little bit more time on it. So um, with the stuff that I'm getting, I'll be able to show you guys how infantry units work, how tank units work, how mech units work, and stuff like that, and uh, just get more rule playthroughs so you guys can see how cool the game is, and I talk about how it, it really does uh, simulate uh, warfare pretty good. So uh, here's a list of stuff that I got coming. Um, I got a mech coming that's going to be a surprise. I got a... I did order uh, some 10 mil stuff because... Um, the different threat levels that are represented in uh, uh, no limits, you're able to uh, mix the 10 millimeter with the 6 millimeter stuff. So, from a uh, cab, I got a white uh, Vanquisher B, a Tyrant, a Spectre, and a Simba coming. Uh, I could have went with Battletech with this stuff, but fuck, I don't want to pay 12 bucks or 8 bucks a mech. That's crazy. Alright, uh, from the same uh, cab line, I got a uh, Blister of light infantry with heavy mortar coming. Uh, blister of power armor infantry panzer foss unit. Uh, infantry uh, power armor light mortar and a heavy infantry heavy mortar. All right. I got a falcon mech coming from there, an assassin. Um, I got 30 mechs coming from the steel warriors box from ice. I think that's Iron Crown Enterprises. They were the guys who did that box back in, I believe, 95, right in the 90s. And uh, so there's going to be 30 mechs in there with a shitload of parts for uh, kit bashing. I got a, a, a track thing for the gun emplacement. I bought the uh, box set of uh, Maelstrom's Edge, and I'm going to just keep it. In, under my hat, what I'm going to do with that. Uh, I bought the uh, Rebel Minis Vanguard box set of their mechs. I bought uh, three heavy tanks uh, 
from uh, alternative armies. One with the siege barrel, lays cannon, and then a command tank. I bought a uh, Ant at Walker looking thing, and I'm going to keep that under your hats because I want to pick up a couple of them before they get scooped up. Uh, and AFC, which is an APC. If anybody can tell me what the AFC stands for, that'd be cool. I bought an old school laser burn uh, Scorpio Assault Lander, which is a troop carrier. And I bought the following uh, grav tanks uh, from um, Alternative Armies the orange, the green, and the red combat lifters. I bought the Charger APC, and then uh, two more uh, surprise mechs. So uh, basically, that's going to fill out the 15. Um, I've got almost everything glued together and built, so I'm going to start doing review videos on the rest of it. Uh, those, uh, what I got done for review videos, that should be done by the time Monday rolls around. And then uh, when that stuff comes, I'll do an unboxing of what came and show you all the cool things. And then I think I got enough uh, stuff to keep making videos uh, for like the good next two, three months. So I'm going to take it easy on my habit budget and the fo budget the following month and then um, do all that, uh, get all this stuff done. So uh, that's why I hobby because... Uh, not just that, it's the comments I get. I appreciate you guys writing back. Uh, you get to talk to interesting people that are in your interests. And uh, I'm hoping uh, once this channel gets up and going, I'll be able to talk to a few of the local channels in Chicago. Maybe appear on theirs, they can appear on mine and little game and stuff like that. Um, someone did ask what happened to uh, me uh, begging for ministries for the. Uh, Boys and Girls Club that's in my area, or community center. Well, they shut that community center down thanks to uh, Trump. And uh, don't want to get super political here, but uh, anyways, I appreciate everybody who did donate, and uh, I did was able to get some of the ministries back. There was a couple armies that I gave to some kids because uh, I think they're going to become war games for life. So it did make a difference in kids' lives, and. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, look forward to seeing you guys later. Uh, make a video response to this guy. Watch this video. You got a channel. Uh, let him know you're out there. And that's kind of what I wanted to do too. Because we're not alone in a vacuum. The YouTube algorithm isn't that great for uh, showing small channels. And I think lately, I've got the fastest damn Wi-Fi you can buy in America. It keeps telling me when I go to a channel that has a thousand or less videos, it tries to slow down the uh, feed. And uh, I check my modem rate. It's kicking great. I shouldn't have any trouble downloading anything off of YouTube. But they want me to download it to my camera. That shit just ain't happening or my phone. So, well, enough of me rambling. Uh, I hope all you guys uh, think about, consider about making a YouTube channel, showing off your stuff. It doesn't really take that much time. You don't have to go super hi-fi into graphics and stuff like that. I'm just using my damn camera and I'm making people happy. All right, uh, have a good day. Uh, may the dice be with you.